The Russian army will soon experience an acute shortage of armoured vehicles at the front. Losses are high and storage depots are almost exhausted. This was reported by the Russian publication The Moscow Times. Journalists analysed recent satellite images of the military equipment storage base Dachnoi on Sakhalin. This is the easternmost base of the Russian Defense Ministry, which is located near Japan, more than 7,000 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. Despite this distance and huge difficulties with logistics, Russian troops are dragging equipment from there to Ukraine. Since the beginning of the Great War, the storage facility has been emptied by 43%. In 2020, there were 593 units of armoured vehicles in the open air at the Dachnoi storage base. By October 2022, there were 556 units left. And in May 2024, 342. The journalists report that is over the past two and a half years, 251 units of armoured vehicles have been removed from the most distant base. And this despite the fact that there is no land corridor and it was necessary to use the Navy and aviation to transfer the vehicles. Now, only five. The rest are destroyed. There is a reason to believe that equipment was stored there, but its quantity is unknown. The Russian Federation keeps T-72B tanks, BMP-2B infantry vehicles, Akatsia howitzers, 2S-12 mortars, BM-21 Grad rocket systems, Concours and Strela-10 missile systems, and much more on the territory of the storage facility. The Russians are actively using all of this in the war against Ukraine. It should be noted that according to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, as of the morning of September the 20th, the Russian Federation's total losses in equipment amounted to 8.7 thousand tanks, more than 17 thousand armored fighting vehicles, over 18 thousand artillery systems, 1.1 thousand MLRS, as well as more than 900 air defense systems. Recall recently near the village of Oktyabrisky in the Tver region, drones attacked the 23rd arsenal of the main rocket and artillery directorate of the Russian Ministry of Defense. Local residents reported loud explosions according to the Crimean Wind and Astra telegram channels. The 23rd arsenal of the main rocket and artillery directorate is located just 16 kilometers south of the previously destroyed 107th arsenal in Toropetsk. It should be noted that on the night of September the 18th, Ukrainian drones operated by the security service, the defense intelligence and the special operations forces delivered a devastating strike on a large missile and artillery depot on the Russian Ministry of Defense in the town of Toropets. The occupiers will only have enough tanks that remain in storage in Russia to last until 2025. This statement was made by Ukrainian military expert Alexander Musienko. They have T-55s. They have practically lost their T-62s. We even have many of these captured tanks. I will tell you that old tanks are losing their importance. They are becoming very vulnerable. And this also applies to Ukraine. What is the solution? These are tanks that will be the newest, more modern, which will be equipped with, among other things, electronic warfare systems, which will be mobile, fast and will perform tasks on the battlefield. They are the future, he said on the air of the Kiev 24 TV channel. But while this future is coming, both the enemy and our country proceed from the opportunities that exist. According to the expert, Ukraine will receive leopard tanks and not only from our partners. In turn, Russia will produce supposedly modern T-90s which are not very modern. Due to sanctions, these tanks are already without night vision systems. Musienko notes, and it doesn't have all the technologies that the ProRiv tanks had before. Therefore, strictly speaking, it is a somewhat more limited copy of the T-90. But of course, it poses a threat. And the quantity of 149, the number of T-90M tanks that, according to Budanov, the Russians plan to manufacture by 2024, is small per year. I agree. But this is also a challenge. As for storage bases, Russia has enough for 2025 and that's it. By 2026, there will be nothing left to de-preserve. There will be no tanks, stated Alexander Musienko. Russian dictator Vladimir Putin boasted that Russia will increase the production of drones by 10 times this year. Thus, in 2024, about 1.4 million drones could be delivered to the Russian armed forces. The head of the Kremlin also said that Russia is expanding the range of unmanned systems and creating unmanned boats. 
According to Forbes, Russia currently produces 42 to 56 ballistic missiles and 90 to 115 long-range cruise missiles per month. As for the Shaheds, the production rate of these drones is more than 500 units per month, which costs the Russian Federation approximately $100 million.